Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Fire Rose quad that Charlotte Tilbury just came out with, as well as the two new colors of her Eyes to Mesmerize that also came out. I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this look and also doing some swatch comparisons of other quads that she has in her line. So if you're interested in that, then just keep watching. Hey guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and specifically Charlotte Tilbury, definitely my favorite brand. So I had to pick up these new items. She did launch these items on an early access link, which normally closes down in a day or two. And this was last week and the page is still available. So I'll put the link to that early access code down below in the description box for you. But let's get into it. So like I said, we have a new quad. This is called the Fire rose quad and this was late about a month ago and everybody got very excited about it myself included i couldn't wait for this to actually be launched i believe it was accidentally sold at a store in los angeles and so some people got their hands on it and i did not but i'm lucky to have it in my hands now and then she also came out with two new colors of her eyes to mesmerize formula which is her cream eyeshadow formula the quad is 53 dollars, and these eyes to mesmerize are 32 you can get them in a bundle where you get the quad and the eyeshadow for $81, which is going to save you like two or three bucks. I purchased one of these sets and then I got the other cream by itself. So let's take a closer look into the Fire Rose Quad. So online it does say that this is limited edition and like I just said, this is $53 by itself. So I do believe this is just going to be a holiday release and you can tell that by the packaging here. So it's the same component as her regular quads, except you have the holiday design that is thrown throughout her holiday collection so that's why I think it's just a holiday release here but it is a gorgeous quad it is made in Italy and has an 18 month shelf life when you open it up you do have a nice mirror it's very lightweight and then you do have your four shades online she says this is her secret to light up your eyes this limited edition eyeshadow palette features flame toned rose hues of rose gold copper russet berry and gold and I do think it is a gorgeous holiday toned palette they definitely pull more berry on the eyes than I thought I was going to get and I love it for this season. So let's go over the formulations that you're getting in here. You are getting one matte and three shimmers but each of these shimmer formulas are different. You have kind of her more traditional shimmer formula here in this brown shade. You have a creamy shimmer shade which I would say is similar to that in the Icon palette. You know how those are more creamy. This is like that formula. And then you have a new formula from her. This is the Super Pop shade. This is very different than her regular pop shades and I am in love with this formula. I hope that she creates more. Just for background, I'm not a big fan of her pop formulas. I find them to be a bit dry. She's definitely improved the formula every time a new palette has come out. I've liked the pops more and more. I think they started off very dry. They wouldn't stick to the eyelid and it seems with every palette they get better but she's still not quite there. She's hit there with this super pop formula. When you swatch it and feel it, it's creamy. There's no fallout. It's gonna stick to your eyelid and it is a super pop. So there's some extra glam and glimmer in there. So immediately I was completely taken up by this color. This is by far the best pop she's ever come out with. And to quickly take a tour of the two new Eyes to Mesmerize shades, these are both limited edition as well. They're going to run for $32 individually. Both of these are made in Italy and they have a six month shelf life, which is quite short, but it is a cream shadow. So that is to be expected. Just make sure you really close the cap type so that they have a longer lifespan. So the first color that we have that she came out with is Sun Sunset Rose. So this is a long-lasting dusty rose pink cream eyeshadow for sunlight glowing eyes to mesmerize and these apply really great with a brush. That's how I would prefer to apply them. They are very very creamy and emollient so if you press too hard into the pot it's actually just going to be so easy to scoop out. So that's the kind of consistency you're going to get with these. And then the other color that we have is Copper Sunrise. This is a long-lasting pink toned copper cream eyeshadow for sunlight glowing metallic eyes to mesmerize and Copper Sunrise is a bit more metallic than the Sunset Rose you'll see in the comparison that this one is just a bit brighter but they definitely have different tones to them and if you're thinking why would I want a cream shadow when these are $32 each the point of a cream shadow really is one it's going to last longer two it's a complete different medium than a powder a lot of times creams aside from also being long lasting they can look more metallic on the eyelid they can make a great base for powder shadows that's kind of how I use one of these guys to 
today. And with creams, it's a lot less of a mess as far as fallout goes. So I'm gonna quickly get into the tutorial so you can see how I did this look. I used every single shade in the quad and I used both of the eyes to mesmerize as well. So let's get into it. With a BK202, we're gonna take this color right here. Keep in mind, this is a shimmery shade and I'm using a fluffy brush. And the fact that I'm getting this pigmentation from a shimmery shade is incredible. And then watch the magic happen. It's going to just blend out by itself. This is a gorgeous lid shade, or it's also great for a smoky crease shade right here as well. This is just the pure magic of Charlotte Tilbury, you guys. Now that the base shade is down, we're going into this matte shade right here. I'm using my Luxie 229 and I'm going to put the matte shade right in the outer corner. And you will see again, this one is just so full of pigmentation. I'm being careful to use a light hand with this matte shade because we're going to continue building and blending it as we start applying shades to the lid. I'm also going to blend the shade along the lower lash line and you'll see how pigmented it is. It's almost plum like, which I really like. I think it's insane the amount of depth you can build up with this shade, so pigmented. So I wanted to show you what Sunset Rose looks like all over the lid. To apply these, I like to take a little bit of it and just put it on the back of my hand and build it up from there. And you'll see that this isn't too metallic or shiny on the lid. So I'm using it more as a cream base. So I definitely don't think this product is a necessity because I don't find it to be particularly gorgeous or anything outstanding, but it does make a nice base shade. Tom Ford number 11 brush and we're going in with this shade. This shade is absolutely stunning. It's going to give you just a glowing look to the lid, especially with the cream that I used underneath. It really is giving it that extra ethereal glowy effect. Now watch the magic happen when I use this shade. This is the best pop formula that Charlotte's ever done. It is extra creamy, it's not dry at all, and it sticks to the eyelid. There's zero fallout, and you still get that gorgeous pop effect, but even more metallic. And I'm focusing the color on the inner corner, and then whatever's left, I'm gonna kind of push it over the entire lid for that really glowing effect. Next, we're going into Copper Sunrise. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Then using a BK207, I'm gonna use that along the lower lash line. I think I prefer this color and it blends really well with this plum shade. You see, it does give you coverage, which is impressive. And it really just gives that eye-opening, brightening effect. Really gorgeous. Okay, so that's all for the tutorial. I'm gonna finish the rest of my life. And of course, here is the final look. Everything else that I'm wearing on my face line lashes, lips, all of that will be linked down below for your convenience. So let's get into my thoughts on the quality. First, we will start off with the eyes to mesmerize. So I did use both. I used Sunset Rose almost as a base all over my lid for the powders, which I thought worked really well. I think the powders popped more because of this cream base. I do have to say though, I'm not really in love with this cream shadow, just this shade specifically. I feel like she has prettier cream shadows in her line and her cream shadows generally aren't super glimmery and glowy like I would prefer my cream shadows to be. However, that might be what is appealing to you because this is more of a satin finish, I would say. It's just not quite glittery or glimmery. I would say if you have more mature skin, this is going to be perfect for you. There is not a hint of glimmer or glitter in this formula. It is all about a simple glow. So if you're looking for an overall glowy cream shadow, which is gonna be long lasting and it's not going to emphasize any type texture, this formula is the way to go, especially Sunset Rose because it's not really reflective. So for me, the color did run a bit dull. It's not my favorite. I don't really recommend it. But if you have mature lids, I do think you will appreciate this a lot more. And then I did like Copper Rose a bit more. That's the one I put on my lower lash line. Again, for me personally, it is a bit lackluster. It is more shiny than the Sunset Rose and does have a little bit more glow to it. I do think this will be absolutely stunning on its own if you apply it with a brush all over the lid you're gonna get a gorgeous look in the sun. It's gonna be really glowy, but for $32, I do think that that's a lot for it only having a six month shelf life. So again, I don't really recommend these. I'm not in love with them. I will say based on my experience to prior eyes to mesmerize that I own, they do crease a little bit. 
They are long lasting, but they aren't the longest lasting cream shadows that I've dealt with, especially if you have oily eyelids. Where I love to use these is like I said, with a fluffy brush, I just like to put the all over look of a glowy lid that these give all over the eyes, which just isn't a type of product that I reach for that often. So for me, these are a pass, but I do think if you are looking for a good cream shadow base, you're looking for that all over light glowy lid, or you have more mature skin, this might be something you want to look into. Straight up, you guys, I love this quad. Formulation wise, this is one of my favorite quads that she's come out with. Every single shadow looked stunning. The matte was extremely pigmented. It blended out easily and you could really personalize how much depth you wanted. If you used a really dense brush, which I did on my lower lash line, you saw how much depth that color had. It almost pulled a little bit eggplant, which I really liked. In some lights, I feel like this shade looks berry, but then it also looks a little bit more plum. So it's a gorgeous holiday color. This shimmery shade, full of pigment, a lot of opacity to it. I would say this is her typical shimmer formula, which is great. The lid shade right here, again, really stunning, very reminiscent of the Icon palette formula, which is incredible. So I love these, extremely reflective, a gorgeous color. Super Pop formula, my absolute favorite formula that she's ever come out with as far as the pops goes. So creamy, so glowy. The glitter though, it's not super chunky or glittery. It's very, very fine sparkles, which really gives that Charlotte Tilbury glow. Definitely this quad gets my stamp of approval. So highly recommend this if this is a color story that you are interested in. All right, so now that we have the review portion out of the way, I did ask on Instagram if there were any quads that you wanted me to compare to. And I got a lot. There's some that I'm not gonna do swatch comparisons with because I just don't think they're that comparable, but we will go palette by palette. So the first one was one of the most highly requested, but honestly, you guys, they really are not anything alike. This is the Pillow Talk quad. This is the Fire Rose quad. So if you have the Pillow Talk, you can definitely see there really isn't a similar shade in these. So you're good to go. There's no similarities with that. Exaggerize was another one that a lot of you guys asked about. And really there isn't even a similar shade between the two. This is much more cool toned. This has these warm tone berries. So if you have exaggerized, you're good. They're not the same. This one is mesmerizing maroon. This definitely has a little bit more purples to it, but let me show you the swatches. So I would say similar vibes, but with mesmerizing maroon here, you're definitely getting more of a true purple undertone. I definitely do think that these are different enough to justify having both. Here's the one that I definitely think is the closest comparison. This is vintage vamp. And then here is fire rose. And again, I do think these quads are quite similar. They're not exact and I much prefer the formula in the Fire Rose. I didn't really like Vintage Vamp. It's probably my least favorite quad from Charlotte Tilbury, but I do think if you have Vintage Vamp, you don't need Fire Rose, but Fire Rose is definitely way better. Here is Dreamgasm compared to Fire Rose. So Dreamgasm really has that true gold, which really changes the direction of the palette. Well, I do think these are similar. Again, I do prefer the Fire Rose, but these are kind of similar. The last one that I'm going to compare is Copper Charge. And I would say that these are different. The Copper Charge is definitely more warm. The thing with Charlotte Tilbury is they look a lot closer than they are because they have the similar placement of depths. You know, there's one super deep shade, there's one deeper shimmer shade, there's a light shade, and there's a pop shade. So a lot of times it seems like the quads are similar, but here, as you can see, every single tone is different. All right, you guys. So that is all I have for today's review. Overall, I am absolutely in in love with this quad. The eyes to mesmerize are just okay, but the quad is really the standout in this release. The only quad that I really think is super similar or something that you should pass on if you have is Vintage Vamp. But again, I don't even really like the formula of Vintage Vamp. I think Fire Rose is where it's at. I'm really in love with the formulation in here. I think she did a great job. So that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would absolutely love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Have a good one.